All right, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero, and this is the second video in a series of videos on painting a portrait with expression and, and loosely, but still being accurate. Because that's what we all want. We actually want the painting to look like the person, but we don't want it to look stiff and lifeless. So in this stage, uh, the theme here is pushing and pulling. When I mean, when I say that is, you know, I'm constantly pushing the lights and pushing the darks pushing them and pulling them and just constantly comparing the values and making sure the value relationships are working as a whole. And what I mean when I say value relationships is, you know, seeing the lights, seeing the darks, seeing how they relate to each other and making sure, you know, the darks are as, you know, darker than the lights as much as they should be and the lights are, you know, the right light. And it's very easy for, I feel like it's like the hardest thing for you know painters to kind of get a hold of is because they see those highlights and they make the highlights really really bright and they'll see the darks and they want to make them really dark it's just kind of like the natural tendency to do that uh, but in reality especially with faces it the values are really close together in the grand scheme of things you know it's you know because you're dealing with the face you're dealing with the value change in the you know millimeters from the eyes to the nose you know, you'll see these all these different shadows and everything, and you want to paint those, you know, really boldly. But, you know, in reality, they're not that different value-wise. And so it takes time. Like, you're not going to get it right off the bat when you're painting, you know. Like, you'll see here, like, I'll, I'm constantly shifting my values. I'm constantly lighting my darks, constantly bringing down my lights, just constantly adjusting. Uh, don't ever get too attached to anything. And always be willing to step you know constantly leaning back like I'm constantly leaning back in my chair and and kind of taking it in as a whole and being honest with all right that's too dark next to that light and that light is just too light I need to kind of bring those together here a bit and I'm also honest about the drawing too uh, you see I kind of redrew the mouth there because I didn't like the angle that it was on uh, when I'm even when I'm done with this painting uh, I didn't get on video but I ended up separating the eyes a little bit because I realized they were gone too close together but uh, a lot of this is you know just kind of trial and error you know lay some colors down lay some values down see how it's working um, at one point in time I kind of realized everything was looking a little too purple so I warmed it up a little yellow and, and red and I keep in I'm keeping the paint relatively thin I haven't gotten to really any thick paint I think it's a common thing to uh, confuse looseness with the paint for thick paint <clears throat> I know that I did uh, I would always see these very loose paintings and you'd see these bold brush strokes and you, your mind kind of thinks oh they're just using really thick paint right from the get-go and it's not really the case you really got to build with it as the painting goes on you use thicker and thicker paint but it's still pretty thin that so you can you know you, if you put on really thick paint you're not going to really be able to change it and I'm open to change in anything at any single at any time during the painting. Yeah, I'm willing to lighten up my shadows. I'm willing to uh, darken my highlights. <clears throat> you know, whatever needs to be done. You can see here I constantly changing that mouth. This mouse had gave me a little bit of trouble. I had to do it a few times actually, but you know, do whatever it takes to get the painting right. Don't get lazy. <laughs> And teeth can be a difficult thing to do. Um, I think less is more with teeth. Uh, if you do go in there and you know try and paint every every tooth, uh, just notice, be aware of how subtle the lights and darks are in it. It's very easy to paint in the teeth and the end up painting the gaps between the teeth really dark and just ends up looking kind of scary. So be aware of that and just you know think of the teeth like anything else you paint you know start with the big shape of you know all the teeth together and then you know break it down by you know the teeth as they go further back into the mouth they're going to get you know darker so kind of get that first and then last thing should be going in you know putting the gum line in and little cracks and spaces between the teeth and this forehead i kept it was hard to read on the photo and i just kept lightening and darkening going back and forth back and forth and you know that that happens sometimes you just gotta keep going and adjusting until you get it right and you'll see is a lot of times i'll put in 
the brightest highlights uh, like on his forehead before I need to just to just to have that piece of the puzzle to use to you know gauge everything else and kind of see what it will look like with the highlights and see what's working and I'm also been building up the, uh, the background as I go along here and I draw on the glasses I hate drawing glasses I'm it's because it's straight lines I really don't like it I ended up redoing these glasses later on but glasses can be tough I highly I recommend doing them at the end and kind of lightly sketching where they're gonna go and kind of finding on the face where certain key points are on the glasses like the corner of the corner is kind of at this wrinkle in the face and the bridge is just right above the eyes and kind of making little marks and then you know carefully connecting them all right and there's the final product hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on instagram at forza 43 chris fornatero here telling you to go get painting